Hi guys, uh, this is Sam. This is the very first uh, video on uh, Sam's uh, IBM Vasindi administration series. Mm, welcome to this uh, series. The plan is to create and release tutorials on Vasindi, and uh, this tutorial will follow a specific structure. We'll uh, you know start with Vasindi installation, and we are going to have lots of hands-on, and uh, finally we'll end up uh, in mastering you know administration of Vasindi instance. The idea is you know pretty simple, uh, just to make you L1 or L2 level expert on VASNV. And uh, this specific video, uh, it's an introductory uh, session covering fundamentals such as uh, what is this course about, the learning approach which we are going to follow, the prerequisites of uh, this course, and uh, finally what is the end goal of uh, uh, taking up this course. So why don't we you know get started with this? What is this series about? Uh, we are going to you know talk and learn about IBM WebSphere application server also known as IBM WAS or IBM WAS essentially as the name says uh, it's a it's an application server and uh, it's a software framework uh, in middleware that hosts uh, java based web applications and uh, this course it provides system administration uh, you know people or a system admins and developers with the knowledge uh, to configure an IBM WebSphere application server network deployment version 8.5.5 um, runtime environment to package and deploy applications on to that particular instance and to perform ongoing management of the WebSphere environment. So here uh, the version which we are going to uh, cover is uh, IBM WAS 8.5.5 and um, specifically VAS ND version, the network deployment, which is used for uh, distributed environments. And uh, this is, uh, you know, used by almost all the companies over the globe. And uh, how do we do it? How do we learn this? So we will be, you know, starting the course with installation of uh, VAS ND 8.5.5 uh, in various modes. And we'll be, you know, uh, configuring it in a distributed server environment we will uh, deploy applications on standalone distributed cluster and uh, web server environments and uh, we'll be you know securing the server and application access we will uh, move on to you know configure database uh, with VAS and uh, this involves lots of you know hands-on we are going to you know have uh, lab sessions and uh, we will you know teach you how to do it and finally we'll be you know giving it a try on automating the vast admin activities so everybody i mean the world is behind automation and uh, even in this piece uh, ibm web sphere application server uh, even there uh, um, automation is the uh, boom so we will uh, see uh, how to automate a certain you know vast in the admin activities and what are the prerequisites for this course uh, so it's, it's good if you have you know it knowledge or exposure and uh, you should be familiar with the uh, basic Linux uh, commands. And uh, if you possess, you know, Linux uh, knowledge, basic Linux knowledge, that's more, more than, you know, enough guys. And uh, you should know what is middleware and, uh, you know, the, the basics again, the fundamentals. And software requirements, uh, you should, you know, have a uh, putty installed on your uh, local machine. You should have uh, a local machine uh, where you can, you know, do a uh, hands-on. And... Uh, we are going to you know try this uh, lab sessions on uh, RHEL or uh, Red Hat Linux Enterprise Edition and then uh, we'll be you know uh, using IBM installation manager 1.5.2 or later and uh, we will be uh, using uh, IBM VAS ND 8.5.5 and finally we will be using IBM HTTP server 8.5 as uh, our web server so this is the end goal. Uh, end goal is to make you an L1, L2 expert on VAS admin. Uh, or uh, yeah, L1, L2 VAS admin. And uh, at the end of, end of this course, uh, you will be able to install VAS ND 8.5.5 in uh, various modes. You will be able to configure uh, the distributed server environment. You will be able to deploy applications on a standalone distributed cluster and uh, web server environments of VAS ND. And then finally, you will be able to you know secure and uh, uh, secure the application and uh, server access or uh, um, you know in in, in your uh, VAS in the instance and uh, we'll be you know seeing how to configure a database with a uh, VAS how to integrate um, a database with a uh, WebSphere application server instance 
and finally as i said uh, in the previous slide we will be talking about automation of uh, day to day activities of uh, uh, vas admin so that that's the thing guys and uh, before you know uh, moving any further i just wanted to give you an idea where exactly this ibm vas will fit in so let, let's talk about you know a typical scenario where an end user uh, uses a web application so what exactly he'll be doing he'll be you know opening uh, the browser on his local uh, uh, you know desktop or uh, local place local device so once he opens the um, browser um, he'll have to you know hit the web application url or link he'll have to reach it somehow and uh, the request uh, the http request is taken from uh, the browser and it will be transported um, all the way up to web server so web server then we have the web server which is serving that http request and web server decides if uh, the you know request is for static content web server will be able to you know uh, serve the request if uh, the request is for dynamic content then web server will you know reroute the traffic to application server so application server is the place where your uh, web application is you know hosted so this uh, application server it helps you with uh, all the you know dynamic requests and it serves the you know request and it has a connection to uh, your database also the application database so if if uh, people wants to you know uh, do some sort of you know querying on on the db application server uh, does the job it uh, fires the query to that uh, database it collects the report or uh, the output from the db it shows that to uh, the user uh, via the browser so this is the three tier architecture in middleware guys uh, make sure that uh, you have this picture in your mind so three tier uh, it starts with you know presentation uh, uh, layer which is over here um, the browser and the front end then uh, we have something called as the second tier which uh, serves as the you know application layer uh, that's where uh, the application is you know residing and then finally we have uh, the third and final piece which is the database so this is the three tier architecture and vas will you know fit in in this application server slot we have web servers such as you know ibb ibm uh, http server and uh, ias internet information uh, server so that's a you know three tier uh, typical architecture guys with this uh, let me you know wrap up this video thanks a lot for watching the video do subscribe to this uh, channel and uh, you know give us a thumbs up and like if you if you really love this effort thanks a lot for watching the video guys have a good day